Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cards. Today we're going to open up the much released 2021 Diamond Kings Blaster that I was able to pick up when I was down at the uh, Atlanta Braves game. I uh, went to a Target, uh, actually my son did, and picked me up. He got a select blaster and he picked up a Diamond King. He was able to get two at Target and so he got one of each and he gave me the Diamond Kings and of course he kept a select and opened that or excuse me what select it was chronicles that's right we opened that up on the channel i forgot about that um so yeah so i brought home the diamond king started making a little video of that um when i got home i also was able to pick up some hangers of diamond kings as well uh in the retail market which from what i've heard is going to be drying up pretty fast here soon with target kind of shutting down a little bit so but i want to kind of go over a little bit what we've got out of um, down out of the hanger that I opened opened it off camera so I kept all the cards here kind of sleeve some of them up a little bit we'll go through them real quick but I will tell you this got 170 cards set in it with 100 being base and 70 being SP so basically 701 through uh, excuse me 101 through 170 will be your SP card so this is what I got in the blaster or the hanger I got a Paul Goldsmith or Brandon Lowe uh, Jose Martinez. I got this nice little gallery of stars. Christi, uh, Christy uh, Mathewson. I uh, got a Bobby doll back, which is pretty cool. I like that. And in this hanger, you get like one red parallel, I think is what is guaranteed. Um, Jackie Robinson. I got a Cody B right there. Uh, Paven Smith. Uh, Keeper Ruiz. Joel uh, Swell. Or Sewell. Joey Bart. I kind of collect a lot of Joey Bart, so I got I'm tickled to get that. I like the Joey Bart there. Uh, Mickey Cochran, and that's my uh, Luis Garcia uh, for the Chicago White Sox uh, is the red border that I got out of the thing. I did get one of the artist proof of um, Jake Cronsworth, so kind of like that card. That's a nice little artist proof there. You're guaranteed, I think, to get one in a hanger. Really love this card. This is an artist palette, Joe Adele. Almost reminds you of the color blast a little bit. Uh, in the series, it's another. They got a, one thing about Diamond Kings. They got a bunch of small little sub series and subsets inside of, but they're very small. Usually, they're anywhere from 15 to 20 cards in each little set in there, kind of like inserts. So, but this is one of them that I really like the artist palette, and I happen to get a Joe Adele out of that. So, kind of bummed I don't have an RC logo on it, but you know what that is. I mean, it is an RC uh, on it, but um, yeah, cool card there. Like that, nice little um, Joe Adele. Um, did get a Joey Bart Diamonds King um, a debut Diamond King so kind of weird seeing normally your Diamond Kings are are kind of set up for uh, the inserts like this are set up for like elite stars and stuff like this you know Joey Bart has not even hardly done anything in the majors even though he's he's the guy I think he's going to do a lot um, that's just my personal opinion but um, he's not got a fair shake quite yet come up for the majors a little bit but don't know why he's in the Diamond Kings thing but either way I'll take it um, these are my SPs. I got four SPs out of it. You can see they're 401, 130, uh, 141, 136, 166, and 161. And what I was tickled about it, one of them is a Ronald Acuna Jr. So he's a little SP in Diamond King. So it makes the chase a little bit longer for him, a little bit harder. And I'm glad that I got him because that's my S that's my PC guy. Uh, Zach uh, McKinstry and I think it's McKinstry. And then Brent Roker is another one. So they do have another good thing is they do have some rookie cards that's in actually the SP, which is what I've always been preaching. It seems like that's what makes a set is when you have SP cards and some of the SP cards are actually rookie cards because it makes it harder to get them. And so it makes you want to buy more, I guess, a little bit. So I've already taken the cellophane off of the blaster. Haven't opened the packs, but in the blaster we got 35 cards per box you get one exclusive blue frame parallel per box on average whereas the hangers have the red and these are a little bit of the autos you can pause it and you see the 170 up there base set with you know 70 being sp and 100s base so i'll let you look at that it doesn't say anything about odds it kind of just shows you like the inserts and stuff like that um but on the back it says you get three retail exclusive artist proof blue parallels so on box on average so that's going to be pretty cool and of course you get the blue framed as well but you get um was it seven packs of five cards yeah five cards per pack seven per box so yep we'll start ripping it and also it says right here find five sps and seven inserts per box on average so i like this more of those artist palettes i did check a little bit on ebay about what they're going for it's not a lot but i mean they're pretty cool um 
I think they're more than the base, but not by a ton. But yeah, a little empty box there, and we got five cards. I'd love to get an auto or an insert or a relic or something like that out of this bad boy. And we got a thin, maybe a thick pack at the bottom. We don't know. So we'll set that to the side. We'll open up our first pack. This is the first blaster I've opened of it. Uh, normally I always keep one back, and I only got one, so I'm hoping I get more coming in. Um, that we find in the wild. We'll see. All right, five cards. Let's see what we got here. And we'll look for some SPs along the way. Got a Harvey right there, a Detroit. Mateo, rookie card, San Diego. And a Joe Jackson. Nice little, it looks like a black and white photo of it. Pretty cool. And this is Aficionado, Hank Greenberg. And Luis Garcia, debut. That's a nice one. We'll set that up there. Let's see if we got any SPs out of this. Number 3, 61, 19, and then A3. So no SPs out of that. So, aficionado. So I know that they got, like, light on their feet. Supposed to be a good defensive player or something like that. Then you got one that's called, like, um, I don't know, a, some type of hit name for a hit or something like that. That's a good hitter. Um, um, as far as I can insert and stuff like that. So, But we got a nice Casey Mize right there, pitcher. That's one of the chase cards for rookie cards. Nice Casey Mize right there. I don't think it's a high number. It's not. But we're going to set it out there. The design is your typical Diamond Kings. Now, this is a product. If you like older cards then or older players, then it's definitely in your wheelhouse. If you don't like it, you don't like the inserts, which kind of favors a little towards me. I like seeing some of the new players, not as much the older players, because, you know, rather just pull them out of older packs maybe like you know if you got a wade box like to see one in 88 or 83 87 something like that then i would uh having it in this year so just different stuff like that uh can kind of throw you off whether you like it or not but you still like the parallels and the different inserts and you got that's one thing i do like about this um so we got a kim right there rookie we'll set it off see if we check for sps and we got a first artist proof blue and this is brady singer rookie card nice blue artist proof behind it is a Aaron Judge and this is a gallery of stars Aaron Judge and then behind that is a Grover Alexander picture all right let's see if we got any SPs out of this 99 133 is an SP and that's Brady uh, Brady Singer so that's an SP we'll put that right there like a little and it's also an artist proof so that's pretty cool the Alexander's an SP as well. So that goes right there in that SP stack. Aaron Judge is pretty sweet. We'll set that there. Um, see if there's anything else worth grabbing out. I and mean, I'm sure there is, but we'll just set it over there. I like the Aaron Judge there. All right, next pack. I want to see a number card. Get at least one number card, right? All right, first pack. Or first, uh, third pack, actually. Medina, Philadelphia. Don't know much about him. Carl uh, Erskine, I think it is. How you say that? Another artist proof, and this is a rookie card of Andre Jimenez. Jimenez. Is this a pallet right here? It is. Ooh, Anthony Rizzo. Artist proof. Look at that. Paul C. and Barry K. Anthony Rizzo. Go back and look at some of the videos with Anthony Rizzo and Freddie Freeman. <laughs> I'm pitching to them. That was an excellent video. I've seen that on YouTube. And also the rundown. That was pretty cool. I loved that. And then a Stan Musial. you got to like that. So, like the Rizzo. It's pretty cool. I'm going to set that over here as well. Set it right there. Now let's see if we got any SPs out of this. 1554. 102. Stan Musial is an SP. So we've got three SPs. We're supposed to get five, so I think we're ahead of the curve in that aspect. I wouldn't mind getting another Acuna SP. Next pack, you Darvish, San Diego, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Montreal, Pistol Pete Alonzo, Polar Bear, 
And this is the club, Albert Puros. The club, and then a Diamond Kings Casey Mize. Now this is a, some type of, I guess it's, maybe it's not a purple or something, but man, it seemed like almost like it's miscut because it's so low, but I mean, I think all of them are like that kind of deal as far as top to bottom. Seem like they're a lot of room up top, but I think it's just the way they're made. But a nice Casey Mize, we're gonna stick that up there. And then let's see if we get any SPs out of 72, 29, 86, and then to Albert, the club. So, all right, next pack. Three packs to go. Christian Javier, Javier, Eddie Stanky. <laughs> We've got a backwards card here, a Matt Chapman. And that is our, um, I guess what they call a blue border, Matt Chapman, right there. Gourmet like that. Elegance, that's the one that's supposed to be light on your feet, Nolan Arnado. I think it is, so we'll set Matt Chapman. I don't think it's numbered or nothing. No, just a border. Still a cool looking card though. Elegance, that's a pretty card. Of Nolan Arnado. And then who we got here? Scooball. Scooball. Now looking at St. Louis. E1. It's a nice background on this. So the cars are kind of nice looking. No SPs in that. I'm going to throw a judge in there. Two more packs. Out of the black. So comment below whether you like uh, Diamond Kings or not. I do like this Key Brian Hayes. I'll tell you that right there. Um, and would you go grab some? It's almost like it's a good cheap rip this year. Uh, I don't seem like the price spike has been as high as it normally is uh, in the product. And there's a Freddie Freeman speaking of Anthony Rizzo right there's old Freddie Freeman. I like old Freddie Freeman. We're going to put old Key Brian Hayes up here. It's not an SP. Uh, let's put him right there. Freddie Freeman. Satchel Page is my artist proof blue. Legacy lithographs of Trevor Hoffman. Remember old Trevor Hoffman, nice reliever. And then Jonathan, I think it's called Steber, something like that. Let's see, any SPs? And Jonathan is an SP. So it's going to go in our SP stack right there. Yep, Satchel Page is our artist proof. We're going to put that up here somewhere. We'll put it right over here. I don't think I put any other artist proofs in here. I always want to kind of showcase the artist proof. I did. Jimenez. So we got two. I think we got three. I got one in the background back or two. So we got our three artist proofs already. So shouldn't have another one. We'll see what we got in this pack. Seems like this pack's a little thicker, but that don't mean much. Could be just a, you know, just a little bit thicker card, or it could be a relic, which is what it looks like we did get. We got something in there. Daniel Johnson. And Trevor Story, let's go from the back. Tucker Davidson. And another artist proof of Jordan Alvarez. Pretty sweet. Nice Jordan, so I love these artist palettes. All right, so I can already tell we got like a dual or a triple relic of some nature. I wonder if it's gonna be autoed, let's see. RL, Q, QM, RL. Mm. RL. Roman, Roman, um, this is going to be the laser. <laughs> it is. Raymond Loriano, and that is a quad patch. Now, does got a couple whites and a couple yellows, but that's pretty sweet in, in, in and of itself. Like that. Um, decent little player for the A's. Not bad. So I got the Matt Chapman. This was made for Gourmet, this box. A Matt Chapman and a Raymond the Laser. Nice. All right, I'll take it. I'll get a hit out of the box. So let's see if we got any SPs out of that. Just out of curiosity, what number is that? No, I don't say. That's right. So let's see if we got any SPs out of that. I think we'll do one SP maybe. Let's see. 41, 122, there it is. And 
Tucker Davidson. So let's see how many SPs we got. Sid is supposed to get five. One, two, three, four, and we got five. Brady Singer, uh, Groover, Stan, Jonathan Stever, and Tucker Davidson is our SPs. Got this nice quad patch right there. We've got the blue frame of Matt Chapman. These are some of our rookie hits I would consider. Key Brian Hayes, Casey Mize, Luis Garcia, another Casey Mize right there. So, got a bunch of this. We do have, we got two artist palettes out of it. Jordan and Anthony Rizzo. Nice. And then one more, or actually two more, Satchel Paige. We got actually two or three, I mean three or four artist proofs. So, Satchel Paige and Jimenez. So, not bad at all. Uh, fun little rip. I enjoyed it. Uh, comment below if you'll be buying some of the Diamond Kings when it comes out and stuff like that. If you're able to find it in the wild, good luck. And, yeah, pop in for the next time on the Breaking on the Channel. This is Clark Sports Guard signing out. Y'all keep on ripping.